What is the ecological role of a freshwater mussel? Mussels play several roles in the food chain. Among other things, they eat plankton, including algae, by filtering it from the water, uh, making the water clear. But then they also do other things like uh, parasitize fish and uh, move the bottom substrate around. The way they filter the water is uh, if you see a clam or a mussel in the water, you'll see two tubes sticking out. One of them has a fringe around it for filtering the incoming water. It's called the incoming siphon. The water goes through the gills where oxygen is extracted, then it goes through the stomach where food is extracted, and then the mussel squirts out the remaining water and starts over again. I could clearly see how those siphons were working. Another thing that I noticed is when I plucked a clam from the bottom, its foot sticking out. Now, is that its only source of mobility? That's right. That's the part by which they move themselves in between the rocks and along the bottom. They can move about a, you know, a foot every few minutes. They dig down into the water with that foot and that holds them in position so the siphons are up and the foot's down. And in fact, if you pick one up and put it back in the upside down, then it could actually suffocate. That's interesting. Something that's even more interesting about mussels and clams is their life cycle because uh, in some species they have males and females, in other species they have the male and the female organs inside the same individual. But either way, uh, males get upstream and release the sperm downstream. The females take the sperm in through the in-current siphon. Then the eggs start to develop into tiny larval forms that are tiny clams with teeth on them uh, that are called glochidia. Now, the glochidia are stored inside the female until she gets an opportunity to spray them into the mouth of a predator. Then she shoots out hundreds or thousands of these glochidia into the mouth of a predator. They go inside the mouth and they attach themselves to the fish's gills. And they live there for several days until they grow enough to have some of the adult organs and then they release themselves and they go into the water and start their life as a little tiny clam.